Hey, Nick Cathlon Gamer. Welcome back to PCM 22 Career Mode, Episode 99. One away from a century. We'll celebrate that soon enough. But first, we have the baby Flanders race. It's Dwarves Dorf Landren, and we hit the first sector, which is four stars and uphill, and already requires that we uh, increase our effort significantly so we don't drop back too rapidly, like... Uh, Martinez and Morgado and Peters, who were practically standing still going up the climb. Uh, Gonzalez already struggling as he is out of Red Barn. Look how much ground these guys lost, even with an 80 effort. Whew. Good thing the pace was not too intense there, but it splits up anyway. Our group of 17, now 23 is a little bit off the back, now 24. We are the next ones in position to get back up there, and Gonzalez is sitting on a 70, which is definitely not going to help him get up there. Really poor draw with a minus 5 and a minus 4 in the group gives us a minus 6 on the day. There was a couple guys looking at minus 1s. There was one guy looking at a minus 2 for the expected, so I think our expected was about a minus 3 net as a team. Just some poor weather. Uh, it sounds windy. I'm not sure what the temperature is, but I think that might have had something to do with it because clearly it's it's not raining. Peloton back together. Let's go ahead and get back to protecting uh, Huggins. A little bit easier through this next area, and we're at 108 kilometers to go now, so we do need to get water again here soon. Uh, Huggins does not look to be that guy, but McKellar can as we go through a second cobbled sector. Here is a third, all easy ones. And Martinez, Martinez just got himself dropped. 80, not enough through those cobbled sectors with a 65 cobble rating for him. It's not a big deal if he doesn't get back up there as uh, having most of the team in the front group and at the front is better than having one guy pull back 50 riders. Four stars. The Potestrat. Not an easy one, but not crazy pace. Eight riders in the break, by the way, and they have a two and a half minute advantage, which is beginning to shrink. Now, this that we're coming out of and the next cobbled sector are it for a while. Plenty of undulation through there to take a lot out of the legs, but Gonzalez is done. Keller Peters are nearly done. So Hawkins, not protected anymore. How to take care of that water. Martinez. That's the main chase group right there. We would like to see him get back up there as he's looking pretty fresh. He's just slow on cobbles. Gonzalez is done. Peters, McKellar, I want them to get the water, but that's not their job. 75k, actually, so we're going to see this set fairly soon. And another group losing contact momentarily. And McKellar has been dropped. We're down to three guys. Ponomar is the furthest back, so go ahead and get water. He's probably the weaker of the three riders anyway. Yeah, Martinez is just way too far back, so he's definitely out. So we've got a peloton now of just 59 riders. We're pulling back one of the breakaway riders now, and Ponomar finishes with the water. Go ahead and protect Hoggins. I think Hoggins has got to be our leader today. 76 cobble plus he can climb. Where Morgado with the minus one and only a 71 cobble needs to just follow. Breakaway splitting up more and more. McKellar is in the chase group, so if they regain con contact, he will be with that group. But he's got very little energy left, and they look like they're not coming back. Steepest climb of the non-cobbled sector here, the undulation that you have through there. And four riders escape off the front, and now there's a chase on, so efforts are going up. Legs are feeling it. Now it's seven at the front group with two remaining breakaway riders. 
Those were mostly breakaway riders there, and we've caught them, and we're into it. Gosh, that happened quick. Hoggins, 88, please. That's the end of the breakaway. The pack gave them no chance. And the breakaway is done. Hoggins Morgato fighting through. We're going 88, and he is struggling. Wow. Struggling at an 88. Now, Morgato I get, but Hoggins, you know, he's got a 76 cobble rating. We just got dropped. Ten riders here. Watch out. A team leader There's still behind. some firepower Breakaway. to chase. Let those guys do it. See if they can't get us back up here in a moment. But we are going to probably have to put our foot down right now and chase. Hoggins has the energy. Ponomar and Morgato don't. But our whole race is going to come down to uh, getting Hoggins back in contact. Oh, come on. The riders are going through a very tough Ponomar was supposed to be 10%. protecting. So he should have been at the front, but he wasn't at the front. And at 99, he is struggling. This is now a peloton back together, but you're going to see it split again, and it does. As we go over the top, it's just a different group. There's more behind than before. And you see our two teams now chasing pretty hard. 27k. Ponomar almost out of energy. Morgato almost out of energy himself. Ponomar is done, so now Morgato is going to have to chase. Gel for him. Ponomar is done. See you later. Oh, Martinez. Sorry, I left you not on auto. And we've got another cobbled sector. Hoggins. Not 99, but we need to go forward. There we go. And he's back in contact. Hoggins, if I can, I want him to make his way through this group a little bit as he goes past the wolf. You can see his weaker rating that he has as he's now in the main group. Peloton secure, 12 riders, but guys did escape. At least five, and then two more groups. So at the very least, there's seven up the road. Okay, those four are not that far away. Here we go. It's time to try to go forward. Can Can't we? No. Can't get Only forward here. One rider down. makes it through. Let them do the chasing. 15k to go for Hoggins. This is still potentially a top 10, but... How many riders are up the road? There are seven. So right now we're battling it out for eighth place. Gel, 10k. Two star and a hill. Hoggins to the front. He's going to come around the corner and attack the hill. Soft. He's caught those guys and left a lot of them behind. And now we will relay... So now there's a front three and a chasing three ahead. No, not 99. What am I thinking? Okay. Uh, pushed a little too hard there, but now it's just full gas to the finish line. Oh, poor Morgato. What did I do to you, too? So Hoggins just trying to hold guys off and hang on to the top 10 on his way to the finish line. Fredheim, another win. Kielich, Moscon, Van Art, Stewart, Hoggins, a top 10. So nearly a top five. We did make the right move there. The 99 zapped our energy a little too fast. But the attack at that point got us away. And that was a key key move on that one. Sixth place, Morgado, 35th with Ponomar right behind him in 36th. Doorstar of Flanderen as the junior Flanders race. It's a little bit easier than the Rande proper. This is the Ronde, and we hit the first cobbled sector and the second cobbled sector. Those ones are easy enough, but soon after this, this race is going to start getting harder. And already, Gonzalez, Peters, Martinez, McKellar, and really everyone feeling, feeling the effort that's going into the legs right now. We've got 155k still to go in this race. This is such a hard hard race but this this is the one that i've set the fitness peaks for 
and have the objective for an expected high race day conditions. And today we've actually managed to draw a net plus two as a team, just about balancing out the net minus four or five from the last race. So it's just about even as we hit the first difficult stage of the day. And if it would only give me what I need here, <laughs> it doesn't like those guys. There we go. Turn that up to an 80 because we need to get through a difficult climb. And is that Gonzalez or is he just held up behind somebody else? He was just held up behind somebody else. Panamar also struggling here. Panamar on his... Oh, no, Panamar's protected. Why is he struggling so bad here? We are dropped for the moment. Six riders with a near four-minute advantage at the front, but 41 here will clearly chase things down. Gonzalez not providing good support to Panamar, but Panamar, 74 cobble rating, 75 mountain, just couldn't quite keep up. And that's how difficult this race is. Four star uphill. Just brutal if you don't have the combination of those two things. But with good race day condition with Hoggins on a plus five, I'm hopeful that for the first time, I believe, in this series, we will crack the top 25 here. We haven't done it yet. I'd love to get the top 10 as well. And this, if there's going to be a day for it, so far in this playthrough today would be that day today could be that day i'm yeah, not counting on it i'm not counting on a top 10 but if we're capable it's finally you know it's finally that time i'm not even sure how many times we've even broken top 50 top 20 yeah yeah top 50 really uh, in this race so i'm my expectations are still low, but they are higher than they've been. They are definitely higher than they've been. So, uh, we keep pushing. Franklin couldn't quite push, and we weren't necessarily bridging that gap, but that gap, gap will bridge easily enough, and it does. Now we recover that zone, and we're at 117, and we've got a little break after this uh, sector coming up. So as soon as we come out of it, we are going to send someone to get water. And that might be Gonzalez as we are the furthest back. Here it is. Right as we go to exit. Yeah, things are tightening up at the moment. That's good. Gonzalez, go ahead and start with it now as you're exiting. Let's get you back up there. He's got the water. He is returning. Got just a little bit of recovery in there. And Panamar is almost back in place and there we go water task done we do need one more time but i expect a much smaller peloton by that point but here is our big break things are going to ease off for a bit gonzalez struggling but he'll recover some his maximums are starting to fall away uh, peters martinez have been struggling but they'll recover some oh here we go though this this is it again. Really? Really? There you go. All right. Everybody on the 85. That's more. You don't want to get dropped here. Put in the effort. Get over the top. Still be in this thing. Big fall. Vanderpool involved in that. Mahoric as well. Toins. Wow. Big names going down. Big, big names going down. And big splits coming off the top. For now, we've got everyone in the peloton. Everyone is here. Let's get you back on uh, Panamar again. 86k to go. 49 in the peloton. Front group has split. And we've pulled back half the time. And there's really now just kind of the six to worry about. As the back three are breaking up. 49 being chased by 46 46 just behind and some of them bridge the gap now it's 70 Gonzalez and no recovery this is high tempo stuff right now little downhill gave a little respite short climb steep climb Gonzalez his little recovery is gone most everybody's kind of holding firm holding steady on their 
levels or levels at the moment. This little downhill will lead to a little bit of a recovery. As you can see, Gonzalez picks up a little bit there. But big climb coming. Already set on 88, so that's fine. Four stars. Here we go. Skinny road as well. Now Gonzalez is going to end up fading quick. Martinez struggling to support. Look how fast Gonzalez is going backwards. And Martinez, really, for that matter. Gonzalez out the group. Martinez. <coughs> and Peters are out the group. Martinez, auto. Not sure we're going to see him again. Panamar and Peters. Okay, they're back in contact. But there is a front group now, which included the, the breakaway. So there's a few strong riders that are escaping. Martinez making his way back forward, and there is Panamar. Do we really want to pull back? Maybe. Here comes the Koppenberg. We're already on it. We are already on it. 45k to go, by the way. Let's focus on these three for now. 50, chasing four. And we have made it up the Koppenberg, but McKellar gets dropped. Now it's 21. Okay, two guys, Hoggins or Morgato. Hoggins has an 80, 79-84, fantastic stamina. They're both looking good, though. 21 chasing four. Returning to position. McKellar in the group of nine that is chasing... And Martinez, yeah, we're just too far back. Too far back. Auto for these guys. Potomar has some energy, but he just can't handle the cobbles. And this is all back together. Was. It's yo-yoing a little bit. For now, it's 29 guys. McKellar, I'm going to try to go forward because There's I could expect this thing to split again. Bike, but apparently he's back in the, saddle. the front four, Vanderpool, who had crashed not long ago. Simmons, Sheffield, and Stewart, absolutely favorites of this race. And McKellar is now going to protect Hoggins and gel up. And we're down to not much left in this thing. 33k. Oh, shoot. Water, 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 water. We need to do the water right now. It's got to be Morgato. Last time. Hand up, hand up. Let's go. Bring it forward. Okay, not bad, not bad. Five guys struggling at the back. Definitely off pace. Kreuzberg. Morgato still trying to get it to Hoggins. He's kind of held in position. There we go. Now it's a front three. One of those front four have been dropped. Now it's Vanderpool, Simmons, and Sheffield. And our group is thinning out now, just 16. McKellar, gone. Too much, couldn't handle it with him. Oh well, I guess we'll get these guys. Plumer, there's Paulet, Russo, Vermeersch, Stewart, that's who just got dropped. Kilich, Lavelle, Schmid, Baruso, Jorgensen, Mahorich is dropped. 15 guys left, and we have three of them. That is good. Uh, like we've got really three ball. guys out it's of the shame, front 18 in this field. Further. Oh, sorry, two, two, two. That is not, that's Nice. That's Nice. McKellar got dropped. Okay, a big move coming in, coming in in a moment, though. Who's the better sprinter? Oh, it's Morgato. So, Hoggins, you're going to be leading out Morgato. Here we go. Here we go, Hoggins to the front. We're gonna catch those front three. Four stars, third time up. Morgato, gotta save something. I mean, this is not a flat out. We're not that good on the cobbles, so this is not. We dropped two riders. Three riders. Four riders. And Hoggins sits up. We we pulled back about 45 seconds on those guys, and we dropped a fourth rider. So now it's 10 
chasing three. We've nearly guaranteed a top ten. Morgado barely hanging on though. Huggins is looking a little stronger. And it's the Paderberg. And it's the final sector. It's the final sector. Huggins. Let's see this group thin out a little bit more, will we? Almost to the top of it. Accelerate over the top of it. Three riders go clear. Right now we're not fighting for a top five. Right now we're fighting for a top ten. We got 12k to go. Morgado sit and Hoggins protect. So that is ten kilometers remaining. six riders up the road. Six riders up the road, but we're pulling back one of them. Come on, let's make contact with them. Actually, I don't mind because that means Asgreen's going to be really tired when we do eventually reel him in. 6k to go. 6k to go. And we've got a lead out, man. And we are recovering enough to sprint. Okay, gels. Gels. We're not going to win, though. But, I mean, come on, let's be real. I, I was going to be thrilled with the top 10, and we are going to get a top 10. Okay, it's time. It's time. It's time. It's time. It's time. It's time. Let's go, boys. Let's go. Okay, Hoggins. Eight. Chasing five guys up the road. So we're battling for sixth place. 2.6k. Uh, we do not have much in the tank. So this is a push-pull situation where these guys are going to be weak. And then we are just trying to finish it off. Hoggins leading out Morgato. And Morgato is going to get sixth or seventh. Sixth or seventh. That's good. I mean, no difference between the two. Sheffield, Simmons, Van Art, and then Vanderpool. I don't know how he pulled that off after his crash at a pivotal moment, but we do get seventh with Morgato and ninth with Hoggins. Two riders in the top ten after not ever finishing, I believe, in the top 50 or maybe, you know, 40-something was the best finish we had had at the Rande van Vlaanderen so far, I believe. I believe because... We just haven't had that combination rider, and we still don't have. But between Morgato and Huggins and other guys, we've been inching to be a little bit better. And good race day condition for those two was just about enough combination to not only crack that top 50, not only crack that top 25, but finally crack the top 10 with the combination of both of those guys. Still not quite enough to compete with the, the super, super classics guys, but oh, that was good. That was good. That was a massive step in the right direction for us. Massive. Alright, folks. Well, next up is the Century Mark. And, of course, Peru Bay is coming shortly. I don't know if we have any other races in between, but I am excited. Excited and ecstatic with what we've done. I mean, what progress. Even McKellar got 29th. Potomar cracked the top 50 with a 47th, and Martinez was 52nd. Couldn't imagine doing that in previous seasons. This has been probably, hands down, our weakest race on the calendar. I'm the Gamer. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Have a good one. Be safe out there. Bye for now.